All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. Sitting over here in the Freedom Office. I wasn't able to get out to the range this week. So next week's going to be a busy week doing reviews and shooting and getting ready for Memorial 3-Gun. Uh, a couple things I wanted to point out. I've got this guy right here. This is the Firefield Hexcore HD. This is their pseudo, I, I would like to say, night vision. It's not a Starlight or a PVS-14 or even a PVS-5. That's how far I go back. And if anybody's out there knows what a PVS-5 uh, looks like uh, put a comment down below that thing right there if you lose it it'll keep you uh, in the barracks for a very long time all right so what are we talking about today Kamala Harris is highlighting a little known aspect of her biography the fact that she is a gun owner to stake out the ground on the issue of firearms now this is an article by the guys over there at the BBC now I like BBC because they are really and truly the most non preferential news outlet out there so this was part of the uh what do you call that thing the, the debate where the abc that david muir and uh, Lindsay, whatever her name is uh it was a wreck and uh, unfortunately donald didn't handle it too well but it was uh, a one-sided argument we knew this going into it but it seriously it was just kind of sad so it goes on to say after donald trump claimed during his presidential debate on tuesday that she would confiscate everybody's gun if elected harris replied that both she and her running mate tim waltz own gun Okay, so let me just explain something to you, and I'm preaching to the choir here, right? If you own a gun, doesn't mean you're pro-gun. Uh, everybody, a lot of people have guns, but they have real, we call these FUDs. You know what a FUD is? Remember what a FUD? We're not taking anyone's guns away, so stop the continuous lying about this stuff, she said. Well, you know what? Here's the thing, Kamala. No one could trust you because you flip-flopped on everything out there. What's to say you're not going to flip-flop on this? <laughs> Gun control remains the most contentious issues in American politics, but has largely taken a backseat to other policy areas of this election, such as the economy, which I have a feeling. Some of the people actually think it's a great economy. Oh, no, your, your 401's doing great. And I told, told this one guy, I said, yeah, I had to take a loan out of my 401 just so I could buy bread for my kids uh yeah so the question raised during tuesday's debate over where exactly harris stands was the first time the issue has even come up in a 2024 debate and now we're not going to have another debate which i wish we would in a little bit more equal grounds i don't remember who did it but uh they caught kamala actually in 32 lies that were never fact-checked by the two assholes from abc ABC News moderator Lindsey Davis noted that the Democratic nominee no longer supported a buyback program that would be forced gun owners to hand over their AR-15s and other assault-style weapons to the government. Critics have seized on the issue as an example of Harris shifting policy positions. Yeah, absolutely. That's what I mean. She, you can't trust this person. And then you know what? That's the whole thing. They should do a whole deal like we can't trust her. If she's willing to flip-flop, oh, wait a minute, it's more popular. And it's the problem I have with Democrats and uh, people on the left is they, they will they will bow down, kowtow to the popular vote, okay? Uh, the student loan forgiveness. Oh, I bet everybody out there who <laughs> either paid off your loan or never had a loan really appreciates this thing with the old the epic thing is that it's going to uh, stimulate the economy because these assholes will have some money. No, they won't. So anyway, the big thing is, other than some of her tax laws, uh, unrealized gains, taxing that. So, hey, your imaginary money that you possibly could earn. Well, what if you had um, unrealized losses? Do you get to deduct that from your taxes? Anyway, total cluster. In other respects, Harris supports the tighter gun restrictions. She set out her stance at the rally on Thursday in North Carolina. Oh, by the way, yes, thank you, Kamala. And traffic was absolutely crazy. And the idiots running across the road, holding hands, just, oh, it's just can't wait, vote, whatever. I can't even believe they're voting for her, a person who never got a vote to become the nominee for president of the United States. Absolutely sick. We who believe in the freedom to live safe from gun violence will finally pass an assault weapons ban, universal background checks, and red flag laws. An assault weapons ban. What does that mean? So what happens when, say, for instance, I die and I have an AR-15? Does that weapon have to be turned into the government? War by attrition. War by a thousand cuts, ladies and gentlemen. This is how it's going to be done. So-called red flag laws allow people to apply to a judge to confiscate another person's gun if they're deemed to be a risk to themselves or others. And a pissed-off girlfriend or a pissed-off wife. All they got to do is pick up the phone and call the cops. Next thing you know, 
like a good friend of mine, shit, he's having to transfer everything out of state because he is technically not allowed to be in possession of a firearm. <laughs> Gun buyback proposals gained steam during the 2020 elect Democratic presidential primary race. They were endorsed by Democratic Congressman Eric Swalwell, of course, uh, Cory Booker, Bernie Sanders, Beto O'Rourke. Where's that guy been lately? Holy Shiite Muslim. Sorry. So we have a buyback program, and I support a mandatory gun buyback program, Harris said, October 2019. She said she supported taking the nation's millions of assault weapons off the street. My assault weapons are not on the street. That's the funny thing. The, the, the majority of the shootings in this country are done by gangbangers, right? This is why it's the leading cause of death for young, young people. Because they consider, up uh, well, some in some cases, up to 21 years old. And if you allow these guys to go out there and shoot each other, well, there's a war of attrition right there. Buyback initiatives have taken place in cities across the U.S. since at least the 1970s. And one of my most popular videos when a guy took a whole bunch of unfinished lowers to a gun buyback plan, and they actually arrested him. Advocates, however, point to the impact of two mandatory buybacks in Australia following the deadliest mass shooting, blah, blah, blah. The country has largely avoided mass firearm violence since the incidents that is bullshit in 2019 harris made her own case for buybacks as part of a broader effort to rein in gun violence oh lord this thing goes on and on and on and on and on harris's experience bbc i'm gonna put the article down below i want you guys to go t take a minute to read it. despite referencing her gun ownership during the debate harris did not give a further explanation of why she had a weapon well, she doesn't need one. She's surrounded by guards right now in 2019. I am a gun owner, and I own a gun for probably the reason of a lot of people do for personal safety. I was a career prosecutor. Blah, blah, blah. Waltz the hunter. <laughs> this guy... Guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna next video I do is gonna be what we need to start stocking up on because I'm gonna tell you something. They're gonna tear this one away from us as well. It is rare for elected officials in Harris's party to speak openly about their experience as gun owners. Waltz is a notable exception. Waltz from Nebraska grew up hunting during the summer. All right, a FUD, an absolute super FUD. <laughs> oh my God, I just, I, okay, that's mine. I, I coined that, super FUD. Waltz changed tack amid a series of deadly shootings in 2010, including schools in Sandy Hook, can blah, blah, blah. I'm not going to get into that. He held an F rating with the NRA. I know guns, yada, yada. We are, we've already talked about it. I'm a veteran. I'm a hunter. I was better shot than most Republicans in Congress. I have the trophies to prove it. I want to see your trophies there, Tim. On the Republican side, Trump was referred to him as the best friend gun owners have ever had in the White House. Okay. Trump's record. We're not going to go into that because I know what it is. But in any case, this is a unique situation. Because you got somebody who just because they own a gun does not mean they're not going to go after your guns. She seems to think so. And you know what, ABC, you really didn't do anyone any favors by what you did in that debate. It was sickening. I turned it off. I couldn't even watch it because it was clear one sided. This guy was going up against three people. Y'all let me know what your thoughts are down below. It's going to be a fun week. We got flamethrowers. We've got night vision and we got lights. We've got rifles. We got barrels. We got all kinds of cool stuff. Hopefully I got enough time to get out there to the range and have do us do something with it. But with that, Guys, have a great day. It's Cody Boy 32 or KB32. Wow, I haven't used that in a long. KB32, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless those men, women, in uniform 24 7 for our freedom. Because freedom comes in a <laughs> what's on the wall behind me all day long, folks. Come and get it. It's KB32. I'm out. Boom.